Hello everyone. Today I want to show you the automated master document register. In this spreadsheet, uh, we will see only the latest revision generated automatically, and uh, we will not see multiple columns or multiple revisions and all that stuff. The review cycle is shown for each document separately like this and uh, we can see it in an editable form like this. When you use this spreadsheet you need to enter three kinds of data. Entering a new document is from here. Submitting a document is from here and if you receive the feedback from the client you can register it from here and the program will do the rest. Everything else is generated automatically. What you see here is a front sheet which consists of the buttons. I will talk about these buttons later. Uh, this is the project name which I can change directly here. And this is the main statistics. This box shows the documents which is overdue feedback from the client. This is generated automatically. Uh, here is a pie chart and this box shows the statistics for each uh, discipline separately. We can double click any discipline and see more details. These details can also be seen in an editable form like this. And this box shows the document under each approval status. Let us see if we want to know the documents which are approved. We double click on approved. We see these documents and it can be seen also in an editable form like this. The file cabinet or the dashboard gives me control on all the master document register. This list shows all the documents. I can click any document and register the submittal of the document or register the feedback. Or maybe if I want to delete the document itself, I can delete it. I can add another document from here. I can change the order of the documents if I sort it by title or I sort it by category. I can edit the information of the document by double clicking the document itself and change everything here. I can uh, take the information of the document which is available here. I can open the document itself if the link is available. If, if the link is entered beforehand so it gives me control on all the documents all the changes done through the file cabinet are reflected in the sheet the sheet is a, a classical form of the MDR but of course it is compact and everything is generated automatically and we can also add new documents here not only in the form but also here and reflected vice versa in the file cabinet. So uh, this will help us if we uh, have already the data and we want to put it in the automated master document register. We don't have to uh, enter one document one by one. We can get a bulk uh, table of document and copy and paste here so that it's easy to enter documents. Also through this we can sort by category, by title and we can print it at any point of time. In this spreadsheet the transmetal is also generated automatically and this is very good if I want to submit a number of documents in one go. I don't have to write the data of each document in the transmetal letter and all that stuff. So let's see if I want to submit this document. I click the document and press submit, register. If I want to submit another document, I will see. I will say not now, but let's see if we see the transmittal. The data of the document is recorded here already, and this is the form of the transmittal. I can use it or make some changes to it, or maybe I can take a copy of this and paste it somewhere else. And uh, at the end, I press issue transmittal, which makes a new uh, separate file, which is saved somewhere on my computer. I can change the settings of the transmittal from here. These are the settings of the transmittals. 
This master document register is not for a specific uh, industry, so I can change the uh, disciplines. So here, these these are the disciplines which we use usually in the offshore uh, construction. But I can change this list. I can edit. I can edit the list, or I can delete some items. I can add a new item. I can add a new category and add it to the list I can do whatever so it's not uh, used for a particular industry it it can be used in construction in any other industry uh, and can be adapted from the settings here at any point of time I can look at the report or the summary report which shows the result and the statistics in an elegant manner so uh, this can be printed or can be sent, copied and pasted somewhere else and used for any purpose you want.